Hello and welcome to the session in which we will discuss Management Discussion and Analysis MDNA for Government. The MDNA is found in the Annual Comprehensive Financial Report. This is similar to the 10K for for-profit businesses. For-profit businesses, they do issue their 10Ks annual and they do have MDNA. So MDNA can be found in the 10K for for-profit businesses and the MDNA for government will be found in the annual comprehensive financial report. Now, the purpose for the MDNA is similar between government and for-profit businesses. So the MDNA is a necessary component of the financial governmental reporting, just like it's a necessary part of the annual report. It offers a concise, I'm gonna put here in quote, an impartial narrative. It's a narrative. I'm not sure how impartial it is because the government is studying telling you their story that analyzes the government financial activities. Now, you would say it's impartial in a sense that it should be using proper fi proper figures, proper figures from the financial statements, from the statement of position, net position, from the statement of activities, using the latest available information. Now, they put a different spin on it. Nevertheless, the numbers should be correct. Official decisions and prevailing circumstances. So this is the chance for the government to tell their story. This narrative serves as a platform for government financial management to present both short-term and long-term assessment of their activities in a clear and accessible manner. What does that mean? It's And the MDNA gives the management the chance to explain the numbers. They cannot change the numbers. The numbers is what they are. But in the MDNA, they put their own spin on the changes. They tell you why did that account increases? What are the changes in net position? For what purpose? Why did the revenue increases from period to period? Or what happened to their expenditure? So on and so forth. In this session, we would look specifically at the MDNA from the city of Philadelphia. Although I'm going to be looking at the city of Philadelphia, you don't have to follow with the city of Philadelphia. You can book pick your favorite city, download their annual comprehensive financial report, and look at it. Let's go ahead and get started. Before we proceed any further, I have a public announcement about my company, FarhatLectures.com. Farhat Accounting Lectures is a supplemental educational tool that's going to help you with your CPA exam preparation as well as your accounting courses. My CPA material is aligned with your CPA review course such as Becker, Roger, Wiley, Gleam, Miles, my accounting courses are aligned with your accounting courses, broken down by chapter and topics. My resources consist of lectures, multiple choice questions, true-false questions, as well as exercises. Go ahead, start your free trial today. The MDNA is composed of four main sections, four main sections, which are the first is a description of the financial statements. Another section identify the primary government and discrete component. Third is economic conditions and outlook. And fourth is major initiative, major initiative for the future. Now, I can explain what, what's in each section, but what's the best thing to do is to take a look at an actual MDNA and keep those in mind, the fourth section, the description of the financial statement, identifying the primary and discrete component, as well as economic conditions and outlook, plus major initiative. It's better to look at a report rather than talking about those Units, let's go ahead and take a look at the City of Philadelphia, MDNA. Now, I will attach this report to the uh, to this lesson. This is the City of Philadelphia. This is the Annual Comprehensive Financial Report. And I'm going to show you first an index of what's included so you can see where the MDNA fits. So we have the financial section under the... First, we have an introductory section, letter of transmittal. And we're going to talk about the Annual Comprehensive uh, financial report and a separate recording, but here we're only discussing management discussion and analysis. So you have the financial section, the independent auditor's report, management MDNA on page 17. Now, the annual, the, when we look at the AC, the, at the ACFR, we would look at the various components. Today I'm going to be focusing on the MDNA, so I'm going to go to page 17. So this is the MDNA, starting with financial highlights. So basically, Financial highlights are condensed financial statement. For example, here they talk about at the end of June 30th, 2022, the liabilities and the deferred inflow, 
uh, the total balances. Then they looked at the overview of financial statements. So here what we're looking at is, if you remember what we talked about, the four sections, one of them is description of financial statements, overview of financial statement. This is the first section. They will tell you what goes on the government-wide financial statement. They will tell you about the fund financial statement and the notes. And we're going to talk about the notes later as well as we're going to have a separate recording for the government-wide for the fund financial statements and for the notes. This is basically condensed information. And we're going to have a section about other supplementary information. So here they talk a little bit more about government-wide financial statement, which is the statement of net position, statement of activities. Under the statement of activities, we have a governmental activities, business type activities, and component unit. Then we have the fund financial statements, governmental fund. All what they're saying here is they're explaining, explaining to you what funds they have, what are the governmental-wide financial statement. We have proprietary funds, fiduciary funds. Then this is a summary of the Philadelphia government-wide financial and fund financial statement. This is a summary. Again, you, as, a, as a CPA or accounting student, you need to be familiar with all of this. Then we have the notes, and we'll look at the notes later. Other information, required supplementary information. Here they're just talking briefly about all of those, but each one of them we're going to cover separately. Here's the government-wide financial analysis. Here they're analyzing their net position. They're telling you how, what changes in their net position, how did their net position changed. So they'll have a detail, what changes, the changes from the prior year, what's the percentage from year to year, 22-21, changes in net position, explaining this. There's a graph here of what led to that. Then there are changes in revenues, uh, changes in expenses, increases and decreases that led to the net position change. More details, another graph. Then they, then they talk about governmental activities. Same thing, they will show you in a graph what's their program revenue. For example, law enforcement, this is the revenue and this is their program expenses, transportation. So notice the government is in every program they are they are gen incurring losses. Notice the red is losses, the green is revenue. This is, this is a snapshot of things. Then they tell you, they talk about this here. Uh, again, more numbers here. They have the, gov is, uh, the governmental activities, the revenues, the business activities, the revenues. And we're going to look at those separately. I'm just showing you what could be in the MDNA. Then they explain a little bit more about business type activities. What type of business type activities? They have the water slash sewer and the aviation. Those are the business type activities. Here they show them to you, the program revenue and the program expenses. And notice for their business type activities, they're generating more revenues than expenses. Again, they talk a little bit more about them. Then they'll talk about governmental funds, the different type of governmental funds. Each one of them, the size of it, you know, changes in fund, restricted, committed, assigned, unassigned. Um, basically a graph of it, the revenues, the expenditure of each. Then we'll talk about the proprietary funds. I guess you guys get the gist of it. This is the general fund budgetary highlights. This is budgetary highlights. Uh, it goes on and on. This is all, we are still working with the same section, which is, <laughs> which was what? Which was the description of financial statements and identifying the primary government and discrete component because within this, they're telling you when, they're telling you which one are the primary government and discrete component. Uh, and more MD, and I'm just I'm showing you this because yeah, you, you notice there's a lot here. They talk a little bit more about. Remember, we said we're going to talk about economic factors. This is economic factors and outlook in the next year budget. So this is the economic factors and outlook. They will talk about. They're talking about the fund balance, projected revenue projection, what they're expecting to have. Uh, they're having some tax relief. They're going to invest in education. Uh, pre-kindergarten community schools and rebuild in 2016 the city of philadelphia imposed a beverage tax philadelphia beverage tax was enacted to fund free quality pre-kindergarten pre pre-k education for children expand community schools and high needs neighborhood and lunch rebuild a capital improvement program in the city's park recreation centers just telling what's happening to this program what they're trying to do in 23 and looking forward contract negotiation this is again uh, looking into the future. And if you want more information about this M MDNA, they're telling you this is who you should contact. 1401, this is the address, JFK Boulevard. I walk from there practically every day. Uh, so this is the MDNA. Again, uh, basically what you need to know is what's the MDNA and what could be included. For some cities, I would say the best way to kind of get familiar with it is look up your own city. This way you see what the city is. Now we're going to look at the whole annual comprehensive financial report. We only picked one part, 
but I'm going to look over all this report explaining um, the various components of it. Uh, what should you do now? If you're studying for your CPA exam, you got to go to Farhat Lectures, look at additional MCQs, true, false, multiple choice questions. That's going to help you study for your CPA exam or for your accounting courses. Good luck, study hard, and stay safe.